welcome to story time. It's ABCs and one, two, threes. That's right. Barney is right. This is Barney the Bear and I'm Mrs. Henry and we're from the Palos Verde Library District with stories and songs for you. And you can watch these stories anytime. You can watch them over and over again. Yeah. In fact, you can watch last week's was a couple of weeks ago, really, and we were talking about lions. We did talk about lions, and we were thinking about how a storm is like a lion. But what does that mean? Ooh, a beautiful sunny day. What is that like? Can you think of it? How about like a bear? It could be like a bear, but a lot of people say they're like lambs. Lambs are gentle. I'm gentle. That's true. You, do you want to do it, bears? No. Let's talk about lambs. But before we do, we better say hello. Why don't we say hello, Barney? Let's sing a hello song. If you know this song, you can sing with me, and you can do what Barney does, or you can just listen. Hello, 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 how are you? We're fine, we're fine, we hope that you are too. Hello, 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 how are you? We're fine, we're fine, we hope that you are too. And you can even clap at the end. I am so happy to see you, and so is Barney. And we do want to talk a little bit about sheep and lambs. A lamb is a baby sheep. I think they knew that. Well, do they know what lambs and sheep say? Oh, everybody knows that. Why don't we do a clapping rhyme about it? All right, Barney, I'm going to have you sit over here so you can listen and watch. And let's do a clapping rhyme with the children. Are you ready? When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. Ba 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 ba. That is what they say. They say ba 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 ba. That is what they say. Good job. What? Oh, you want to do it again? I think we should do it again. I love doing things over and over because it's fun to clap and hear the beat. So let's try this again. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say ba 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 ba. That is what they say. They say ba 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 ba. That is what they say. And then they all say hooray. What a beautiful morning, they say. And it is a beautiful morning. It actually is not raining right now. That does seem gentle and peaceful maybe like a little lamb when i say little lamb did you think of a song i'll bet you did barney wanted me to sing this song but he doesn't want to use the name mary he wants me to use his name barney so we're gonna sing wait a minute we're gonna sing a song about barney's little lamb okay let me try it i'm i'm a little confused but maybe we can get this straight Barney had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Barney had a little lamb. Its fleece was yellow as a lemon. Oh, here's Barney's little lamb. Do you know what fleece means? That's the fluffy fur on a sheep, but I'm not sure Barney's right. I'm not sure a sheep has yellow fleece. Hmm. Should I try this again? Let's try this again. Barney had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Barney had a little lamb. Its fleece was red, red as an apple. That is a very cute sheep, but I've never seen a sheep or a lamb with red fleece. Okay, here are some more here. Should I keep going? Kind of fun. Let's keep going. Barney had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Barney had a little lamb. Its fleece was, oh dear, 
as blue as the sky. It is beautiful. It is as beautiful as the sky. So even if it's not what we would normally see on a sheep or a lamb, let's go with it. In fact, let's do another one. Why not? We can even clap this time. Barney had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Barney had a little lamb. His fleece was orange. Did you say orange too? Orange like a traffic cone? Okay, orange like a traffic cone. Our sheep are very colorful today. I think we should try it one more time. Are you ready? Barney had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Barney had a little lamb. Its fleece was ah, green as grass. And this winter, our grass is all green. It's very pretty. Or you could say it's as green as my shirt today. Okay, so let's look at our colors here. We have a yellow sheep, yellow like a lemon. A red sheep, red like an apple. We have a blue sheep, blue like the sky. We have an orange sheep, orange like a traffic cone or an orange and green like the grass or my shirt. But really, I think there's one more color we should have. It's the color you would see if you're driving along and you see some sheep. So shall we sing it together? You ready? Barney had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Barney had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. We did it, good job. I think Barney kind of likes changing these colors around. You know what? I like it too. Even if we do not see sheep like this out in the real world. And how many sheep does Barney have? I think we should count them to find out. Are you ready? You count with me and I'm going to point to them. Right, one. Yep, two. Three. Four. Five, one more, six. You counted to six. That is very good. And these silly lambs helped us out. Now, there's a lot of stories about sheep and lamb, and I have a lot of favorites. And one thing you can do on your own is come to the library or call us or go to our website and ask for stories about sheep and lambs. And some of my favorite is Boragita and the coyote. This is what it looks like. Sheep in a Jeep. These are very silly. And I also like Aesop's tales. Aesop told stories 3,000 years ago. Remember we talk, told the story of the lion and the mouse last time. This time, why don't we tell the story Barney, I'm gonna move you again. Why don't you sit down on the floor? You can see nicely there. Very good. And I'm gonna tell the story of the wolf and the sheep. Now there's actually a lot of stories by Aesop about wolves and sheep. And in fact, there's a lot of stories throughout the world about wolves and sheep and lambs because wolves like to eat lambs. So like our lambs. We don't want anything to happen to them. And I think for thousands of years, that's what people thought. So this is a, an Aesop story. It's called The Wolf and the Lamb. There's several that he wrote about wolves and lambs, but this is my favorite. So I'm going to share it with you. Once upon a time, a lamb had come away from her flock and she was actually having a good time. She was frolicking through the meadows, but she was in danger. She was away from the rest of the sheep and the lambs. And of course, you can guess what happened. A wolf came along and he saw her and he wanted to eat her up. And she was afraid, but she said to the wolf, well, I suppose I shouldn't be this far away. I, I guess you can eat me, but before you do, I wanna have one last dance. I am a lamb who loves to dance. Well, I guess you could dance. Go ahead, just make it fast. Well, I can't dance without music. Oh, why don't you whistle me a tune? Just whistle a tune. 
It's pretty hard for wolves to whistle. Oh, please, then you can eat me. All right, I will whistle. How is that? Now can I eat you up? Oh no, I think you need to whistle longer. And how about a little louder? <sighs> well, I will certainly have a good appetite when I am done whistling, but since this is going to be your last action on earth, okay. Go ahead and start whistling and I will dance. I'm gonna dance over there this time. <laughs> louder! All right, that's enough. I'm getting... Oh. Woof, woof, woof. Did I hear a whistle? Woof, well, uh, y yeah. Was it you? Um, yeah. Were you about to eat a lamb? Uh, about that. See you later. Ah! Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Good job, little lamb. By having him whistle... I heard him with my very sharp ears, and I saved you and chased him away. Well, it is true. You did save me. But I also saved myself by staying calm and thinking of a smart thing to do. Wow, that would be a really good moral to this story. I think it would, too. Woof, 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 goodbye. And that is, it's a very old song, a story. And it was told by um, Aesop so many years ago, but we still like to tell the story. And uh, Barney, wow, he, he really, he started to move away too. What are you doing over there, Barney? I kind of felt like dancing too. I was, I was dancing over there. But, wow, I think, I think it is time for story time to be over. I think we need to sing, oh, just one more song. That's a good idea, Barney. Can you do the sing the waving and I'll do the singing? Yeah. Can the kids do both? That's a good idea. So you guys can sing and wave and I will sing and Barney will wave. But remember, we will see you next time. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. To all our friends at story time, we wave goodbye like this. We blow a kiss goodbye. We blow a kiss goodbye. To all our friends at story time, we blow a kiss goodbye. And we will see you next time. Or drop by the library and we'll see you then too. Goodbye.